What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. We got a new barbecue to review. This is the Weber Pulse, which is all electric. A lot of electric grills I know are coming out. They're turning into cars. They're all going electric. Let's go. All right, if you guys are in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom. You can check out all these products for yourself. If you're new to our channel, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow us on TikTok. It helps us out a ton. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. You won't believe how much it actually helps us out. It's crazy, but it does. All right, a little spiel on electric grills. Uh, electric grills are going to be more and more commonplace, just like we're seeing with cars. There's a lot of neighborhoods already that are banning natural gas. Uh, I would say it's inevitable. That's just going to keep happening. It may take quite some time, but some electric or some electric, some barbecue manufacturers are forecasting that and get ahead of the game, starting to R and D and develop electric grills. Weber has a new electric grill out They're They're trying to, you know, be on the front end of that. I do know there's some cool electric grills coming out in the future though. Uh, all right. What would be a good application for something like this? Right now, I would say most electric grills are smaller. They're not really mainstream and large yet because one, the, maybe the power it's gonna take to do it efficiently. Technology may or may not be there yet, I'm not sure. But two, for the most part, right now, the number one practical need for electric grills are where, Chris, you think? Apartments. Apartments. So a lot of, a lot of apartments, uh, condos, high rises, things like that no flame so not even gas flame of course no wood no pellet but so electric grills your only choice so usually on an apartment patio something a little co more compact like this is very practical so this is the pulse it's going to be a two burner the stand you do have to buy separate so it's just almost off the stand it's almost like a little uh you can almost use it as a travel grill if you had a generator or something but uh, it kind of reminds me of a travel grill style the stand, you know, not a whole lot to really say here. The side shelf attaches if you want it. Uh, this rack underneath, the wheels are just, you know, okay. It's definitely, I mean, I think it's like 1100 bucks with the stand. I mean, it's not top of the line stand. So unless you want the stand, you could put it on a table or something but it stands just okay. All right, the grill itself, so it's gonna be two burners. You can see that it has like a, it's like a little aluminum insulated lid there. We get two meat probes. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Looks like we have personalized cast iron grates, two of them, which is cool. And then these are our burners. Now we're gonna fire this up so we can see what we're dealing with here, but we have two independent burners. We got two meat probes, and again, sort of this aluminum tray. I'm curious of this, how you would, this is just kind of sitting in here loose. I'm wondering how this comes out. Oh, I'm not gonna be, I know I'm not gonna be able to slide it around with the burners, but I bet you somehow, okay, I see here. So here's these two, bolts here if we undo these it looks like this is holding the bracket in that's holding the burners burners will pop out then this tray pops out if you ever need to get in there the drip tray underneath that's pretty standard so far i mean there's there's nothing nothing blowing me away here i mean we got a cast aluminum it's almost looks like it looks like a travel grill with electric burners honestly which isn't a bad thing it's just kind of is what it is all right let's try to fire this up What's cool with electric, of course, we're gonna have all the electric technology that's in the Weber Connect series. So they developed that like with the smoke fire, the uh, smart gas grills, which has the you know electric starter. So let's try to turn this on and see if we can figure out how to pair this thing. So we do get a digital display here. Let's see, pulse, so there we go. Recognize that pretty quick. What I do like is Weber does, seems pretty easy uh, to pair things. So let's turn the knob on. 
So we can send software updates to this. It looks like, it's funny, when I went to turn that, I'm so used to gas grills, I just pushed it in. But there's nothing to push in, it just, <laughs> just turns. The more, ga the more electric grills I sell, I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's basically a digital dial, is all it is. So, it's right now connected to Bluetooth. We can extend our range and now sync it to Wi-Fi. Let's try that quick, see what happens. There we go, so now we're set. So now, let's try to set our grill temperature here. I'm just gonna set a temperature alert. Oh, so that's setting a temperature alert for our meat probe, so we can set the grill to alert us when our meat probes are in. We can put it on a timer. We can do a cook, cook program or a recipe. Now I'm wondering if I can actually start the grill from here. Oh, the burner's on. All right, let's crank them up, full blast. Of course, we're not cooking in here, but, um, and I, I would advise, would not advise cooking indoors. However, I will say, for a barbecue test, it's pretty convenient. I'll test electric all day because after this paint cures on here, it's gonna be odor free. So that's a nice thing with electric, of course. Now this just does plug into a standard 110. So we have just plugged into our barbecue island here. But the control is pretty easy. You're gonna control everything on your smartphone or you have everything physically here. It's got four probes for meat probes. And then it's got a, uh, you know, a master on off switch and then our two dials. So with our two dials, we can offset cook. That is nice. Cause even though it's not a very big grill, it would be annoying to, um, you know, if you only had one zone. So at least you could do some offset cooking in here. Let's close the lid. Cause I'm curious how fast, one of the things like for, with a, an electric range top now with the induction cooking, that's not so much a problem as electric technology develops, but the old, your old ranges, let's say, no one wants electric range versus gas because electric takes way too long to get hot. So what I'm curious is how, how much of a lag we're gonna have. A travel grill this size on gas, you would be five, 600 degrees in under five minutes, I would say. So that's the big thing is I wanna see how much you can keep up with gas. So let's see how long it takes here. Got the timer on. A few minutes later. All right, so we got it up to temp. It maxes out at 600. You can see it probably just threw a little extra heat in there. Took us 20 minutes. So significantly sl slower than a gas grill. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that, I think. One is it's just a standard 110. Obviously, we had a little more juice to it. It'd be a lot faster. It's a catch-22, though, because like apartments and condos, like they're not going to have a 220 outlet out on your patio. So uh, it's more practical to have the 110, but it's definitely going to take longer. And then the second reason is uh, you can see those things are fire red. I don't think there's a whole lot of technology development with these burners. Um, I think they're just like basic electric burners that you'd see in like your range top or your cooktop or something. So I don't think there's a ton of development into technology here, um, but it definitely serves the purpose. I mean, it, it is nice. It gets up to 600 degrees. At 600 degrees, you're, you're, you're getting into the searing zone. And also with cast iron, that's going to even amplify the searing process. So at 600, I do like that we can sear with an electric grill. That's great. So that's it. The one thing, I, one complaint I will say about it, and uh, I complained about this with the Weber gas unit, is uh, I don't like that in our app, I don't like that we can't control the grill. So we can set timers, we can set time uh, alerts for our meat probes, but we cannot turn the grill down. So we can observe it remotely, like if we're at the grocery store, we can look at it, but let's say it's cooking too hot or whatever, can we do anything about it? No, we can't shut the grill off, can't turn the burners down. That's annoying. I, I think that has to be in here. You're talking about electric, you're talking about smart grills. You gotta be able to control that. I'm just completely speculating here. I know for a fact that Traeger has some sort of patent uh, with cloud-based cooking of some way. That's literally the extent of what I know. I know nothing else. So I don't know if there's patent infringements on why we can't 
control the temperature on this because I know some of the other pellet smokers have run into that problem uh, with Traeger using their cloud-based patent. I don't know how you patent like cooking in the cloud or something like that. Anyways, that's legal mumbo jumbo that I don't know, but that's my suspicion because it seems such a basic thing to give this thing temperature control. So there's gotta be a reason why it's not in here because it needs to be. And going forward, as we see electric smart grills coming out, I would hope they could find a way to do that because it's a really necessary feature. That's really my big complaint. Uh, overall conclusion, it's a solid grill. Uh, honestly, there's not a lot to compete with it right now. There's a handful of electric grills. So it's as good as any electric grill on the market, but I, I don't see a lot of technology development here. Um, and like I said, if you need a grill right now, I think this is a great grill. If, you're, if you have to go electric and you need it now, buy this. If you can hold off, I think it could be a year or two or three. So maybe you don't wanna hold off that long. That's a long time to hold off. I know for a fact there's really cool stuff in development. I just don't know when it's gonna actually come to market. So that's my little MO. What's nice about this is not crazy expensive. So you could buy this, hold off for a couple of years till something better comes out. But it's very solid, but Nothing absolutely blowing the doors off anything here. So this is the Weber Pulse. If you guys want to check out our other barbecue reviews, go over to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.